Hey guys, MCN Mike here. Welcome back to another episode. Hmm. You know what? No. <laughs> Welcome to my new playthrough of I, the Somnium Files. I was told that it's actually pronounced I instead of AI, which is very disorienting. But this is my new series, I, the Somnium Files. I am very excited to play this, and it's thanks to you, the fans, for voting on the poll that I posted on Twitter and Discord that helped me determine what game to play next. If you're enjoying this and you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, I highly recommend dropping a follow on my Twitch. Link is in the description down below. Uh, following is completely free, so I see no reason not to. But if you're enjoying the content on here, I recommend subscribing for stream VODs and other gaming content from me. So, uh, I think with that, we are going to get started. It's okay, you sound like a really cringy YouTuber, always. I mean... Yeah. I'll admit, I am fairly cringe. Mike-based cringe. <laughs> it exists. It's also thanks to me specifically. Yes, Sorted Penguin voted 12 times on Xenoblade and 12 times on Isomnium. Being cringe just means you care. I don't think that's how that works, but I'm not even going to bother combating it. Uh, so I was just messing around with the settings on here to make sure that everything is good. Um, let's see, brightness is good. Uh, I think, I think the settings are fine. Uh, we're gonna keep the voices in English, um, just because that's my personal preference. Uh, but I think we are good to start. I, the Somnium Files. Heard a lot of good things about these games. They're part of the Nonary game series, I believe. So I believe this comes right after Zero Time Dilemma, or it's like by the same people that made Zero Time Dilemma. Because it was made by Spike Chunsoft. So you may know them for making uh, Danganronpa. Everything that's sincere is going to be a little bit cringe, and that's how it should be. It's by the same guy, but it's not in the same series. Okay, gotcha. So we're gonna start a new game. I played the demo, and I gotta say, this game is pretty fun. So, starting language. English? Except me, I'm never cr That is definitely false. Everyone is a little bit cringe. This story is a work of fiction. Names, characters, places, and incidents either are products of the author's imagination or are used fictitiously. Any resemblance is coincidental. Yeah. Rad. Oh yeah, I'm also going to put up the text for No Backseat Gaming, please. I just thought I mentioned this is going to be a blind playthrough, so this is going to be my first time playing, so I ask that nobody spoil any plot points, any future characters, anyone who does so, even if it's a fake spoiler, will have their message deleted, and they will possibly be banned, so uh, please keep that in mind. Pretty great mood setting intro. Yeah, I remember seeing this when I played the demo. It really it really got me involved. It, it gave me a great idea as to how this game is gonna feel right away. Oh. So I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure this person is dead. Uh, you, uh, you, you got something on your face there, dude. I don't know if you noticed. This game gets a bit dark at times. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, yes, this game will have some mature themes, and there will be a little bit of... I don't want to say gore, but I suppose that will be the word I will use. Um, so if you can't really... If, if you can't handle uh, themes of... 
a murder or just general brutality, I recommend not watching this series. Uh, there was nothing wrong with uh, staying away from content like this. I just thought I'd say that. So thank you for reminding me to say that. Bloom Park, Friday at 10.54 p.m. During investigations, the main character, I, I believe it's pronounced Date? Because I know it looks like the word date, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Date. Inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. All right, cool. Well, let's talk to uh, this person, our boss, it seems. When you speak to a person, you will be presented with choices and look. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you are speaking to. The content warning should be organ spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. All right. This rain is awful, huh? <laughs> Am I right? Time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Her voice sounds very familiar. I, I, I swear, I... You know, I know that I make a lot of uh, references to Persona, but she really does sound like Sai Nijima from Persona 5. Could you turn up the game volume a bit? Yes. Let me know if that sounds better or worse, or if it's hard to hear me. Allegra Clark. Her legs must be cold. You know, that's a fair point. Why is she just wearing... I'm assuming those are shorts or a skirt. Either way, her legs are probably freezing. Her Allegra's. <laughs> Who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. They found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, okay, she plays Dorothea in Fire Emblem Three what Houses and Bloodhound in Apex Legends. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain important information or clues. <gasps> Blue's clues? Selecting log will allow you to recap any previous conversations. Well, now that's not true. In the demo, if you check log, it gives you just a, a large wooden log and puts it in your inventory. What can you tell me about the victim? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. Oh yeah, I should fix Nightbot. Because I don't plan on making a review of this game, but... I guess if we get enough clips, I'll make a highlight reel. Any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But... This could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? Alright, what about you, Inspector? Thanks for coming out here in this mess. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Anything to go on? Not yet, sir. 
What's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Apparently we're prestigious. What's a corpse? Body is mounted on one of the horses. Keep asking his name? I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. Oh, it's... Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. So, AI ball. Or I... Her name is Eyeball, because she's an AI built into an eye. You want me to use the zoom, right? Good god, that is hilarious. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. So when playing through the story, Iba Iba? You know what? I'm gonna say Iba. Iba's special vision modes may help you obtain new information. You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target. Select zoom and examine the corpse. You can also view, view the controls by pressing, pre yeah, pressing the minus button. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, I am playing this on Nintendo Switch. Because it was on sale for 20 bucks. Can you ask that guy's name again? I forgot what it was. It's Kagami, sir. It's Kagami. Keep asking his name? What, does something happen? Forgot it? Okay, what what happens? Kagami. Kagami. Oh, he sounds pissed. Oh no, do I even want to ask again? I, I feel like if I ask him again, I'll piss him off. I'll feel bad. Could you keep asking? Oh no. Are you serious? It's Kagami! I told you he'd be pissed! I feel mean! I already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. <laughs> that was funny. Alright. No keep going? Pretty sure I know his name. He told me already. His name is... Oh, boy. <laughs> hey. What'd you say your name was? Hey. Hello? Hey. I know you can hear me, Kagami. <laughs> wow! Do you know my name? <laughs> ah, that is really funny. That is funny. Now I need to remember the zoom button because you you distracted me. Uh where's the button? ZL. So that's a dead person. Haunts. Alright, left eye. Socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Wow. Her left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Carved it out while she was still alive. Correct. Well, that's terrifying. All right, um, let's see. That's stab wound. Puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death: blood loss from these wounds. I never would have guessed. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. 
that means. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. All right, so we have an idea of who did what, or or uh, what the weapon was. Let's talk to the police, man. How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Wow, insightful. Um, that what? Haunts. Wait, no, haunts. It's a horse. Hans. All right. Oh yeah, we should probably. Forgot. Uh, you also need to check her other eye, if I'm not mistaken. Could you turn the voice volume in game up a little? Still kind of hard to hear sometimes. Uh, sure. Okay, auto save. Yep. Allow me to assist you. That's as high as it goes. Did I miss anything here? Face. I'm detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. The victim's arms are tied behind her back with rope. The same rope wraps around her body and the pole directly behind her. No. Why would they do that? Is there anything else? I think that's like everything we could possibly look at. Fence. There's a fence! If it's green when you scan over it, there's still more info. If you inspect it again. <laughs> it's a fence. I'm taking a snapshot of that. That's funny. How is there still more? If it's gray, you've exhausted all potential text. Oh wait, face. There's still something that. with the face. I know. Oh. Remember that I also saw her several times. Though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. The eyeball has also not been recovered from the scene. So the killer took it with them? That is highly likely. Why would they do that? I believe answering those kinds of questions is your job, Special Agent Date. Okay, so it is pronounced Date. The eye of a dead woman. Is there anything I'm missing? Okay, that's literally everything. A local cop. So, what am I doing here? Are you serious? You're Special Agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Dante? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? That always came from inside. To see through the column. Utilize the X-ray mode. 
Oh, there's an x-ray mode now. Oh, there is a person. Oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. Oh, well that's terrifying. How long have they been there? They probably haven't even ate. Threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. Grabbed it hard, tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. Oh, that's a gun. Oh. Uh, did we just find our murderer? I mean, she's holding the ice pick, like, she's holding the murder weapon. The proof is kind of in the, it's, it's kind of written on the wall. Mizuki did a case closed. Game's over. Oh, this... This is a bit different from, uh, the demo, I think. I don't remember this cutscene. That was a short game. Well, good night, everybody. Thanks for tuning into this series. <laughs>
got it. Got what? I have completed got milk? a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Yeah, Let's I can tell. You. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I direct see. you? So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Oh, right, God. Let's do this. This is a weird hentai. I don't know what the fuck you're into. I don't even know what I'm playing. I don't, I don't even know. What even... So many questions. So Date's dream world in this stranger surreal dream. Trust the light to wake up Date? Trust the light? What is this, Kingdom Hearts? Insomnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's, in, uh, subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. The guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. Move Iba closer to the door and investigate. Okay, first of all, what is this design? Like, I guess the hair is cool, because, you know, you've got, like, the red accents. I think that's neat, but that's about where the sensical part ends. Why? How does she look the way she does? I... I don't understand. A door locked with a padlock. When investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Iba instructions. Have Iba investigate the door. It appears all I have to do is open this door. That's not how doorknobs work. Well, there's my explanation. I mean, yes, I'm in a dream, but what part of, like, Iba's character manifests into that? Is that, like, how Date imagines Iba to look? Shut up and listen. Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts Everything are the light touches is color. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. Iba made that herself. I have no idea who that was. Okay, then. I guess that answers one of my many questions. to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? That is a Don't terrible quote out of context. I have a veto? What does that even mean? In the Somnium world, you are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Iba over to it and investigate. A winter iris. A winter iris. <laughs> what? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. Wow. A flower with a woman's name. That grab and smell. Oh boy, this is funny out of context. Do you know what the word veto means? 
not in the context it's being used here, but like I know of it in like political terms. Let's smell the flowers. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. <laughs> Isn't it easier to visualize this way? That's sure. funny. Never. All right. Pardon? Harder. You got to smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. Smell it harder. Okay. What the? Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? More importantly, what the hell just happened? She took a whiff of flowers and suddenly the pot of flowers shrunk and went into her nose. What the f Maybe this is hentai. Who even knows? You were able to touch it. Correct. So I just need to keep this up? Something like that. That was weird, man. Your actions advance your progress. <laughs> okay. The switch. The thorns are gone. I wonder why. Turn on the switch. Well, my switch is already on. That's how I'm playing this. Now I can activate the switch. Who was that? Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I'm starting to think they wrote it this way on purpose, because everything just sounds really horny out of context. I would rather be sleeping. Okay, maybe not everything. There's so much foreshadowing crammed here. Huh. Well, I guess this will be entertaining for you. Or frustrating. <laughs> There's another mental lock. Wow. <sighs> Alright. Oh, there's a couple things here. Why? Oh, let's get fucking sloshed. Have a sit- you know what? Let's see how far our smelling powers can take us. Hmm. The nose is fresh yet rich. I detect smooth tannins and stone fruits. Where did you learn that from? Why would you have something like this in your dream? Even a guy like me enjoys good drinks and better company. But these social engagements never seem to turn out well for you. Stop. Don't remind me. All right. Well, uh, let's try. A glass of wine. Have a sip. Why not? Leave it to me. <laughs> she drinks straight from the bottle. <laughs> an AI getting drunk. More like how. Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. That's really funny. <laughs> I would make a skeleton in the closet joke, but this is a living room. Wait. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. The left eye? Just like the, uh, the girl that died on the merry-go-round. To the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Aiba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey, don't ignore me. <sighs> Stupid bony man. Bony Your man is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. <laughs> Are you finished? That's really funny. Is immeasurable. 
and your day is ruined. <laughs> That's really Stop. hilarious. Wait, why is it still highlighted? It's a standing lamp. Kick? Why would you kick a lamp? I don't know, lift up. It won't move. That's weird. I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. <laughs> she got you, dude. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. All right. It looks like a rose. Uh, turn off the light? But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. There's a plug right there. In fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be Wait, anyone. what? Someone Not else's house? Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal It's my house. Dreams are Understandable. To how information I guess you did a lot of remodeling recently. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. Well, it's kind of dirty. Shut up. A basket. A I basket. Where the basket? <laughs> what? Let's search the basket. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, what the and a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe. What? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than a cult. This is just weird, man. Evidently, there's something else with the lamp. I guess we have to kick it. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton skull move slightly. Hey. Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? Wait, the skeleton's head spun when you kicked a lamp. A skeleton. Hit the skeleton. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Well, that was fucking rude. Whoa. Oh, game over. She died. Oh, we're back here. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Yes, but that's unrelated. Adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Hidden item. Insomnia? There's always one somewhere? Mm, no more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. I know every... Yeah, somehow I doubt that. Okay. Oh? I know slightly more than everything. Oh, hello. A gun came out of the skull? That sure is a gun. Sure, we'll pick up a it gun. Won't go off? That should be fine. Plus, even if the gun goes off, this is a dream. You can't exactly. This hot I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Oh. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? 
No. Wait, I know something going on with the stove over here. What the hell? What? Day one, Date B acquired. That's this hidden item. A door locked with a All right then. Put the gun in the keyhole. If you find it, you unlock concept art. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's try putting the gun in the keyhole, because I noticed that the edge of it was shaped kind of like a key. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. Oh, come on! I suppose... He knew what he was doing when he said that. Well, well, well. Seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, that's it. And he comes with puns. Oh boy. Date is quite the package of a man. Good. You found the oh I'm pretty sure that's not what that was supposed to be, but I believe what you want. There's one in every Somnium. I suppose. Date is quite the... Yeah. He is quite... Uh, oh. Who the hell was that? A1 Date A acquired. We somehow got A before, or we somehow got B before A. Makes sense, except it doesn't. What even was that visual transition? That looks kind of cool. Day 2, Saturday. All right, we have the police headquarters now. Okay, there's a Christmas tree. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Wow, his posture sucks. All right. Police offer mannequin. Fishing flag. Soccer ball, volleyball, RC car. Shelves. Soba door curtain. I like how there's the P in parking as part of the banner. That's really funny. Examine every object. Oh, please tell me I don't actually have to. Map. A map on the wall. Wow. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. You don't have to, but many of them have jokes. Nah. I guess we'll check a few. Stationary exercise bike. What is that a map of, though? Greater Tokyo? Eh. Your guess is as good as mine, I guess. Um. Hmm. Yo, what kind of computer specs are you rocking? The type that has a monitor to build. Okay, so it's an all in one. Nice. I see you still haven't cleaned this place up. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, 
I try to make my office colorful, liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. All right, uh, what's the status of the investigation? Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. Been having flashbacks recently, fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so, nothing to report then. Got it. Are there any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. About the ice pick. The pick Mizuki was holding? Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Who do you think did it? Renju and Shoko. I think they want me to think it was Mizuki. Mizuki but at the same time, like this case. having it be the first person you encounter ago, just doesn't sound Shoko like something this game would do. Nidami. I think Date did it. I should also give you this. Mm -mm. I don't think he did this, but I think he has some it's significant involvement Shoko. considering that I feel like that whole six years ago right? thing is going to play a big Since factor into this.
All right. Uh, bags. Bags hanging on a rack. Do well. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. Okay. Oh, wait. Wine bottle. Hmm. Oh, Matryoshka. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. So she's calling herself a child. Okay. Nothing else in this game makes any damn sense so far. Alright, um... Uh, I think she's still had more. About the case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? I shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Did we ever identify who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the hold up? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location. It was me, right I now. did. Okay, sort of penguin did it. Good night, everybody! All I know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. What the? What the hell are you? I mean, I know that's Iba, but like, I. Uh, what, uh... Hello. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. That transformation process is really freaking creepy, dude. Boss's desk. No, I wanted to talk to Aiba. Who were you? No, we already know. Why did you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. What You're the joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. That is a very interesting design. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program. Yeah, he literally does look like a Pokemon admin. It's uncanny now. That is so weird. From today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Iba's been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analyses. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. 
While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. That's really cool. Let's us talk without actually speaking. That's honestly really neat. I, I would love to see that technology come to life. Minus the hacking part. I feel like that would go very poorly. Myself. <laughs> You're handsome. You are a handsome looking man. Oh, no, stop it. Are you okay, Dante? Perhaps it's time for his medication. <laughs> he hangs out with Colra. Okay, Colra's had like the coolest design out of any Pokemon admin. Changed my mind. Alright. AI sight? Oh, that's what. Okay, that's what Iba sees. Um. About Iba. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. About I. I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I? Really me? I thought he was going to talk about my favorite ninth letter of the alphabet. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. All right, about my eye, like my hey, eye. So about my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. About AI. Hey, what does love mean to you? The Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? Oh, that's so funny. I'm right, aren't I? <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Bosses look at Iba. You know, you are kind of cute like that. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. <laughs> hey, I doubt it. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. Canonically, they're speaking the Japanese, joke. so that Explain made no sense. That is that. kind of funny. Nope, not cute at all. <laughs> Back inside. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. Why did you come out again? Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? Well, who did it? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, that wasn't very I smart. I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on the map. That is, is that uh, that is an Dante. interesting outfit. Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Alright, so we can check the map now. Matsuhita Diner.
That is a nice car. Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Blast my badge. Oh, heavens, no. I is my boy. I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I feel like this game is describing things that don't need describing. This person put the knife down on the table beside her. Like, okay. Where is your... Er, no, is Oda here? We're looking for Oda. This dude's oh, apparently 24. What was it? That kid it's does not look 24. Where irresponsible young men hang out, nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Just like you? Oh heavens, no! Nothing like that. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm not 24, but come on, I don't look like younger than I actually am. Oh, I like to think I, I look remember. my age. It's a production office, an entertainment company. What is the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Why does Oda hang out there? <sighs> because there's a goddess there. A what? But Oda says it all the time. A goddess. The like warrior wear, imagine. A witch, huh? A goddess, yes! though? What? A witch put a spell my poor Ota makes him spend all his money on her. Did this game really just call out Twitch subscribers? Like, did... Oh, when did this come out? I, I need to know. When did this game come out? This game came out in 2019, so, like... That was around the Pokimane craze or something? Or when Pokimane blew up for the whole simp thing? So I feel like this game kind of predicted this entire thing. This whole... It either predicted the Pokimane blowing up, or it predicted OnlyFans. <laughs> Because this literally just a goddess that young men sp spend all their money on. Like, I don't know. It sounds like something that you could draw parallels to if you ask me. Japanese idol culture. Oh, that's true. That's right. This is canonically Japan. Things are very different over there. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Yeah. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Is it porn? Does he have a box of porn? He seemed awfully happy happy about this. Do you want to see? Sure. It delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. Oh, so it he might be porn. To buy them. I know it. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads Solid Model. Oh boy. 
It's a cardboard box. There's a delivery slip attached to it. Ah, like good smile. Oh, I never thought about that. Date, there's a paper slip on that cardboard box. Why not try enlarging the image? Yeah, I, I read the slip. We should look inside. Oh. Use the x-ray mode. I get it now, because Good Smile sells figures just like these, I think. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. There's multiple sets of figures, I assume. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. Investigate? Oh, do we x ray it again? I'm confused. Am I missing something here or something about a solid model? Okay. What about you? Uh, so is this witch working there? Yes, that good for nothing Timtress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Okay, so it is idol right. culture. Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. All right, we're getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Can you call Oda? Call him? Yes, does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not waste of money. I see, so she's old fashioned. Questioning Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Oh, because of course he does. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about this idol. She mentioned a box. What, do we- do we select the box again? Yeah, we know everything about the box. Why does it still say it's... Okay, now it's not. So... What now? Do we... Do we leave, or...? Kitchen knife on the table. Something is engraved on the handle. Seems like a weird thing to keep on a knife. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowers. Elementary school, and he bought his mom a knife. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Usually, you need to exhaust all dialogue options before moving on. Is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is A set a group name? No, it is a single artist. An A set figure, huh? 
Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemniscate. Lemniscate? That's a weird name. What? I repeat, Lemniscate. Renju owns that company. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemniscate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Oda goes. Iva, bring the car around. At once. All right, I think we know where to go next. Lemniscate. Lemniscate is like a figure eight or infinity symbol. Hmm. That's fascinating. I'm noticing a couple frame drops every now and again in this game. So, I guess if you want to pick this up digitally, I would go for... Uh, the PS4 version or PC. Uh, just a fair warning to anybody following along. Oh, and want you know, Lemnus Gate's logo is the infinity symbol. That's it. Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? Showed him my badge. The, MPD. <laughs> the police? Oh, let me guess. This is like typical, like... I was about to say typical otaku culture, but I think otaku is like something in the States that represents someone who loves Japanese culture. I don't know. He kind of strikes me as the otaku type. What are you typing? Otaku is the thing in Japan too. Oh, okay. Stop bothering me, please. Why would you talk that way to someone from the police? Could you look at me? No. I'm kind of busy right now. This guy is so disrespectful. Are you a fan of Aset? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me. What can you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. <laughs> this is the type of kid I hate the most. <laughs> Punch him! <laughs> Might be able to tell because otaku is not an English sounding word. You make a fair point. Do I punch him? I really shouldn't. We're just gonna press a look. I don't wanna punch him, that sounds rude. Don't you hate him when people know their rights? Yeah, it's annoying. Just like, be submissive to the law, even though it's unfair, am I right? For legal reasons, that's a joke. How to take a girl home in just two minutes. Do they do rentals? Alright, um, I... I don't know. Receptionist. Did you hear that? That was my hand colliding with my forehead. Uh, you know what? I'm screech on this because this is hilarious. But... Why would you mention that? There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. 
There are huge breaths sitting behind the desk. <laughs> That's really funny. Dante is horned. Horned. Sofa. So far. So far, a sofa. It's a sofa. <laughs> Who wrote this? Whoever wrote this dialogue is uh, amazing. All right. I guess we'll punch him. Dante, wait. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. I did. Kick him. <laughs> I told you to wait. <laughs> Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Let me guess, he runs a fan blog for her A set? Does Tessa refer to A set? That is a popular fan nickname for her. Oh my god, they they copied Twitter. That's Correct. great. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Oh god. Classic. Ota Multiple alts. Pongo Ponko and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. Oh boy, that this is, is pathetic. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth. That is very sad. Hey, hey kid. kid. Oh, okay. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Two witter. Uh, uh, what are you two witter? Really? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, Look, if you say you're I psychic, you lose all credibility. <sighs> Fine. When did you start with the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Examine Just the painting and a potted plant for good again, jokes. Okay? But I am psychic. Eh, <laughs> I got bad news for ya. Okay, fine. The abstract painting. There's an abstract painting hung what up. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. There's an abstract, incomprehensible painting hung up. <laughs> I already know what the bad news is. Because I have said... <laughs> I'll play it. Dante, look! Ants! Look at them go! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. That's weird. Ah, uh, play it. I mean, those aren't exactly jokes, Ira. Those are kind of just... It's just weird dialogue. Why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. You aren't exactly a joke it's just, and are just a weird dialogue. Wow, really trying to flip the no you, huh? About last night. Again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? 
Yes. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk. Just... Shh. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Yes, she better be. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? A friendship? Parasocial relationship? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work. Well, I mean, he's not exactly professional. Hey, Ota, how about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Okay, provide a detailed account of last night. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park. Just like a line, yeah. Who sent it? I basically picked that up immediately. But Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Oh, we're getting some context. So he ran away. You left you her, there? her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. What? Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. What? Good girl. Her roommate would kill her? This could go two very different ways. Also, I feel like in any context, a 24-year-old hanging out with a 12-year-old is a big no-no. Like, that doesn't sound wrong to anybody else. No? Okay. Correct. I was using my cell phone at first, but 
my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. But you wear you gloves. Tracted. Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Otis phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. The whole murder supersedes that. I mean, yeah, but had there not been a murder, I feel like this would have been the hot button issue. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Tessa! <laughs> Everyone's just standing there awkwardly. Mr. Dante from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before. He does not look amused to be here. He's just like, what the hell is going on? Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Oh no. Is something the matter? No, nothing. All right, let's talk to, let's talk to A-Set right here. Are you A-Set? Let me confirm something. You're A-set, right? <laughs> Let's play a game! Shadows! Uh, what? Threat? Silhouette? A-set! Fierce! Uh, upset? Regret? A-set! Water! Wet? Sweat? A-set! <laughs> Yay! A-set, you bet! Oh, she's doing like the little cat hands. Oh, that's weird. The atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. This makes sense eventually. I sincerely doubt it. How old are you? You never ask a woman her age. But this is a video game, so we're gonna do whatever the hell we want. I turned 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? <laughs> that was the best dialogue so far! <laughs> it's just, first of all, she's 18. Like, okay, she's legal. Second of all, He's just like, I uh, will make a move. Oh shit, uh, I bet uh, that him. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. This whole thing is just so awkward that it's funny. What's your relationship with Oda? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. A what? Her thrall. If Tessa ever gets in trouble. I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Oh, if only she Stop. knew. You're making me blush. This guy. As a mod, I can ban you from your own stream. No, you can't. Oh, should we chat chat should we tell her about the sock puppeting I think she has a right to know I, I think we should tell her what do you guys think There are two of us here. Hey, two is greater than zero.
You know what? Screw it. We'll do it. We can leave if you displease us. Oof. Says the one who goes in and deliberately puts a like on every video. Evidently, I don't displease you enough. Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Wow. Right, Ota. Yeah, just be cool. I refuse to be referred to as the amalgamous entity known as Chat. I got bad news for you. You're friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am. Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... So Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. And I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Hmm? Something wrong? You aren't even blinking. But one of my eyes doesn't work, so... Yeah. Fan of mine? No. Okay, now I'm getting a little creeped out. You can stop staring now. <laughs> I'm scared to click more. I really shouldn't. I feel like this will get really, really weird. Okay. Oh no. Um. Did you talk to her about last night? That phrasing was awful. At Bloom Park, he told me. A what? Tess he off. saw the corpse. Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention. Oh, that's that is Actually, yikes. I already knew about it before Ota told me. What? How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Uh... Anyone else find it weird that he knew... So he was there with Mizuki, and he ran away. But he also knew about the body? Something doesn't add up here. Look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. That's... Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. This is creepy. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff. You know? No. I very much do not know, and I don't wish to know. About Shoko Nadami. Alright. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Well, the last name would make it a bit disorienting. But the hair is fairly similar in color. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. I hope you like this song. It's okay, it's not great, but... It could be worse. I've heard worse music. You have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nodami. Let us continue. Right. Let's it will be? Crime scene. What do you mean it will be? Hmm? 
see you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. What? Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. I've never seen a dead body before. Suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. The fact that she's so invested in this is kind of freaking me out. Ota, take a video. Huh? Just do it. Take a video? Mr. Date! Please, Mr. Date! You can't leave me! What? What are you doing? I am so confused. Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. What is this all about? They're the receptionist. Wait. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It clicked. It just clicked. Mike is horn. No, no. That is not what this is. The entire thing just clicked. I. Okay, so this is gonna sound like a stretch. But I think. Asa is the murderer. The only reason I think so. Is because she was acting awfully enthusiastic about coming with us to see where the body was. She was invested, asking us where we're going and if she can come with us. And then recording a video of her reacting to Date leaving and making it, she's trying to twist the narrative so that everyone attacks Date and makes him out to be the bad guy to throw the suspicion off of her. It sounds like a stretch, and it very much could be, but I think that's what happens. Now, if I'm correct or wrong, don't tell me. I want to see how well this ages. Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder... Happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little. I knew it! I knew it! She's trying to twist the narrative, and she is. She is making things look bad for us instead of her. I think she's the murderer. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. No, she won't. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Inspector What's-His-Name did it. Was tired of everyone forgetting his name. <laughs> I think I know how this is going to go down. I have this- I have a strange feeling. I don't know if what I said is true. It sounds like a big stretch, but I want to see how this plays out. So A set is in the passenger seat. Why did you become an idol? TV. Be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. <laughs> Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Oh Have God. Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain. <gasps> really? <laughs> 
I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many games You absolutely either. do not know what is going to go down. I don't know. I, I have a theory. So I'm going to let that take me where it goes. You should wear Aset's outfit on the next stream. First of all, that would involve wearing cat headphones, and that's just a no because I love these. So I am never switching these headphones. Second of all, pink is not my color. Uh, third of all, there was no way I would wear shorts that short. Like, no. And also, uh, not to mention, no. How'd you start working for Lemniscate? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sell coffee, but I started getting pretty big. Yeah, I can't I started relate. Getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. That's weird. Those look like headphones, but I guess they're not. And everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day, Mr. Ogiura said to come see him at his office. See, I feel like if you don't know anything about the industry, you're doing it wrong. If you're trying to become big in the entertainment industry, you need to be familiar with the field you're going into. Like, I didn't just start Twitch all willy-nilly. I, I got a, an understanding of how Twitch is, fundamentally. Three years later, here we are. Fun fact, I actually became a Twitch affiliate uh, al almost exactly uh, two years ago today. I was during the PC gaming show at E3. I got the notification that I uh, can apply for affiliate. And, yeah. Says Mike with his two viewers. <laughs> hey. Shut up. <laughs> About Ota. Why do you ask? You two are very close for an idol and a fan. Ota is special. He really is like no. <laughs> a hero to me. Hero, huh? Me, we make up for it with our quality. Speak for yourself. What quality have you provided? I've been upping the quality for the past three years. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. What would you do without all this quality back and forth? Well, I mean, I did Nier Automata, the Yakuza series, Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, Persona 4 Golden. I did pretty much all those without this back and forth stuff, so you tell me. <laughs> do you have any questions for me, Asa? Questions. Uh, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! <laughs> what are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Aset has a familiar voice. Well, he's a special agent, if I remember correctly. You would have played through all of Anima again to get ending E if it weren't for... Okay, I guess that's true. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die.
Bro, that's deep. Man. We're gonna die. What? I can see into the future. What? I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> Just kidding. Hope so. Yeah, she's definitely anyway, the murderer. I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Isn't it like threatening the police a crime in and of itself? This was her VA's debut role as a main character. Oh, good for them. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date. I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. No, uh, she I definitely will. Egyptian goddess Isis. Oh, what? The Egyptian goddess Isis? That... what? I don't doubt... Like, okay, you can believe in whoever you want. I don't judge. But for a set, I'm gonna judge. Like, that just seems like a random line to throw out there. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? Eh. That's not a weird name, I, I don't think. No, I don't think I will. Something wrong? No, there's nothing. Excuse me. You Konami Date? That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. What did you think of the flashback, vision, whatever it was? Well, it tells me that she was apparently significant at some point when she was at a very young age, so interesting. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed to the scene. Yes, very smart idea, except it isn't. There's a hole in it from all the years of weathering. Inspect the panda. A panda ride. The type that you put a coin in. A black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. A what? Oh my god. That that took me a se it took a second for the gears to turn on that one. Oh my god, that is funny. That is really funny. Haunts. Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Yeah, both games published by Spike. Yeah. Wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What a nice haunts. Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. There isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. That must Wait. mean 
This person was killed somewhere else and tied up here deliberately. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Let's see, what else is there to examine here? There was no blood on the horse. That must mean... You are the father! Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? Uh, what are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm -hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? This chick is delusional. I do. Well, why do you keep here. pronouncing haunts wrong? I I don't know. Uh, have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they... okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it would be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Why do you think it was a ritual murder? It seemed like a very oddly specific thing to say. The horses. Horse? Haunts. It sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right She's always mentioning Egyptian Ra, gods. That's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The Eye of Providence? The All-Seeing Eye. Oh, that's what people call the Illuminati. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Exactly! The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry in the Illuminati. Yep, Starting there it is. see the picture? Not really. Remember Ota describing the scene? He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw? Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. She's lying. Just telling the truth. He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Tinazuki? I mean, she's literally holding it. 
but not, not who even knows. I noticed that there's this thing is very sensitive sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna try to change that setting real quick. There we go. You're wasting your time. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? Huh? Um... You good there? Oh, your cat. Okay. Well, that's gonna look really dumb on the VOD. But we should go. Come on! Just a little longer. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. You all right? Are you okay? Uh, morning sickness. What? I'm kidding. It's not like I would know. Why would you joke about Get on. morning sickness? I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. <laughs> 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Okay. This is getting weird. A lot of this dialogue is just... Yeah. Oh, uh, horrible! Shame. Oh, you should worry about me more! Oh, why? Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. You definitely yeah, were. so. Right here. I would put it right back where it came from. Oh, yikes. That makes me actually want to throw up. Oh, God. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity 60%. It is unlikely that he would be a factor. Hey Dante, they say when you stick your hand out of a car going a hundred, you get a rush like you're holding D-cups. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. Oh, uh, what? My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. What the fuck is happening? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. Everything happening will actually genuinely all make sense by the end. I can't wait because I'm totally confused. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm going to head home. Ooh, going home already.
sent my goodbyes and turned it. She still has to delete the video. Out of the corner of my eye. Wait. Oh, who is this, Iris? What? I felt my body freeze. Because that woman, she's. Oh? Okay, this adds a new layer of confusion. As I stood there stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. After an awkward silence, Iris brought some tea on a tray. She put everything down at the table and sat down on the... Uh, okay, re you're really describing a lot that we could just see plainly right there. Okay. Hey, tell me. Where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. Thou Renju Okira. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Okiura. Okay, I, I need to work on my pronunciations. High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Itoku Hai. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Do you know Renju's ex-wife? Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Oh, is that so? No reason. Why... Why is he always asking people's ages? We're gonna do it because we're an asshole, though. I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes. Just 19. 19 years old. Wow. What about your husband? That's almost my age. I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. Due to social hierarchy? It's all right, Iris. Huh. I've never been married. Oh, showing respect to your elders, yes. I see. Do you know me? Oh, uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. Yeah, <laughs> for no. better or for worse. This is the first time we've met. Of course. And Iris. Uh, you look chipper. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There no. Are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> I don't see any. Oh, those? The flowers. Wait. It's an iris. A an iris. winter the iris? That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. Oh? In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Um...
I know exactly where we are now. This is the apartment from the beginning of the game. The Winter Iris. This... Where we're sitting is where the skeleton was. And then there's the... There's the lamp. So the lamp... The lights are... Uh, mm. And the... The... Oh, we can't select the basket. Okay, well, let's talk to Iris again. Uh, you seem to be doing well now. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! Yeah, she puts on oh, quite the act. To that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Ah, <laughs> I love Iba and how sassy she is. About the flowers. And think about the flowers blooming behind her. Yeah, the winter iris. You were saying? Mr. Date, please drink your tea. I don't really is the best. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Why do I feel like this tea was drugged or something? Are you left-handed? Oh. to be right-handed but now <clears throat> oh it locked up on me ah oh, i see oh that's unfortunate how long have you been living here since i was born and mom was living here before that i grew up in this house i've made a lot of memories here I'd thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, uh, I don't know. Huh? Sounds like there was something. Examine more things in the room. Oh, the door. There's probably a sink and stove on the other side, like where we found the, uh, the secret item. Let's see, a dining table. We could always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining table. <laughs> nice. The cupboard. There are a lot of dishes. Yeah, for two people that live here, there sure are a lot. Alright, bookshelf. There are no books on it, but it's definitely a bookshelf. It's on in a catalog before, so I know. Shoebox. Wonder what they smell like. Uh, yeah. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? Shelves. A wooden shelf. Mysterious subject. What the hell is that? Reminds me of a kind of angel. What is that object? A clock. <laughs> uh, all right. I think that's everything. Oh well, the sofa. Elementary workbooks. But looking closely, one in the middle is different. Osagami Sumo Wrestler Directory. Osagami Sumo? What's that hanging on the back wall? Oh, yeah! Wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. What's with all the brown? I thought about that doesn't look right. 
There's the phone. I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh, plant. I can see a plant in the corner. No insects, unfortunately. Sorry, Iba. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Speaker system. Two speakers and a long, thin box in the middle. Heh, <laughs> it's like... You know. Mr. Date? What are you staring at? Your sound system. My sound system? Uh, what about it? I was just admiring it. I wish I had one that big. Right. Uh, what was it supposed to be a perverted joke? Good god, what is wrong with this man? Uh, let's see, is there anything left to say? All that's left to say is goodbye, it seems. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. You're not gonna for- but She has to delete that video! Mr. Date, we'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? <laughs> I'm a cop, after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. That sounds like a threat. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She already sent it to your boss to- like What? After all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. You're right. Excuse me. Well, I should head home. All right. Take care, Date. Gotta say, he looks fabulous in that outfit. Over the facts of the case. Good idea. Wait, he's missing his eye? Where's Iba? Oh, she's in the steering wheel. Oh, that's really cool. Alright. There was like center console. Dashboard. The dash. Dash. Iba is fitting into the center of the wheel. That is really cool. Alright. To play a game? Why? Uh, about the bloodstains. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Well, not legally. That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Hooray? Why was Mizuki inside the column, though? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. <laughs> Alright, about Shoko's corpse. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, 
or other clues left behind by the culprit. All right, timeline of events. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. You can't just let them give you the go-ahead for this kind of thing? Oh yeah, more about Shoko's corpse. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. More about Shoko's corpse, apparently. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? She probably because took it she out. Taken the eye? Yeah, I think she took it out. Anything on your mind, yes, Iba? As a matter of fact, I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Oh? Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. With their hands? Probably dragged it or something. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Mizuki. Oh, she's here. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. <laughs> you know what wow. you need to do now, right? Sync with her. All right, how's Mizuki doing? Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I e -E -G? think we can You sure this is okay? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. Mm. You have nothing to worry about. I feel like I have every reason to worry when you sound like that. Hey, Pewter, about Iba, could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? <laughs> Don't kill her to be more modest, maybe a little more ladylike? If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eyesight. <laughs> 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 so you were listening, huh? That's funny. Are you sure you want to do this? If we don't do it now, then when? 
This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you I just noticed Abyss, kind of like Abyss, like A B Y S S. Wonder if that's a connection or anything. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental, which is understandable after seeing her. Oh no way! Head. Okay, that you sarcastic really statement that. tells me that it's just not coincidental. You're the only one who can. Did you get Renju's permission? Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being. Oh, by the six stories unit. underground. I His never connected that with the name of the organization. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he? I don't know. Hmm. Same. Okay. Uh let's see, do we have time yeah, you know what? I think we have time to do this. The sink machine. She can't hear me from here. Alright. Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. Any progress on the investigation? you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? I suppose so. His real name is Amanoma. Ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. All right, let's see this happen. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising, and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you. But she can hear you. Try talking with her. Look at her, she looks sure so innocent and worried. I feel so bad for her. About the sink gear. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's mutinous and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Mizuki. I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss, Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, 
They only they investigate the advanced brains. People. We have to get inside their heads. Simple the brains are beneath them. I mean, in a way, kind of. Our job is to find it. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? <laughs> Ramen, unagi, sushi. Let's go get some of that stew you like. Hey, remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up? But it tasted so good. You were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story, or...? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Date, her heart rate is steady. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. You ready? Okay. Ready anytime. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Somnium world. So, never Any got that. If it's state of the art technology, why are we limited to six minutes? Subjects. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, there we go. They just explained it. Get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Well, then. Let's begin. Alright, so I believe this is the part that I played in the demo, so I should be able to get through this relatively quickly, and I think once we get through this, I can call it an episode. The only thing is, I forget which option does which. <laughs> All right, and there's Abyss. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. <laughs> Is this Bloom Park? Lightning in a bird cage. It's a Terminator, yeah. For Mizuki State Good Park. reference. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Move fast, Pokey. Necessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of Sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Well, to an extent, you Somnium could take your time. Activate. Mental lock number one, the cage, or the lightning. Number two is the cage itself. Okay, number three is Mizuki inside the column. Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you may be able to get important info. To reach 
reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Aiba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. Oh, now you're stepping in blood. Oh, that's nasty. Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. All right, so I think I remember how to go about this. So time is expended whenever Aiba is moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the remaining time in the upper right corner. Unlock all mental locks within the six minute time limit. So the speaker, if I remember correctly, I believe we have to pull the speaker out. This? Is there not a smarter way? Can't think of one. You have quite the muscle brain, don't you? Yeah, but it's a strong muscle. I suppose I have no choice. You do not remember correctly? Eh, I think I do. <laughs> Get beamed. This works too. What? Was this not how you're supposed to do it? The pillar became a lightning rod. Maybe you should have pulled the pick out. What? Wait. Did you know this whole time? Oh, I'm assuming that was the other option. As long as the cage is there, we can't get to Mizuki. The lightning is no longer an issue. However, even with all of my might, I do not think I could lift the cage. Date, we got a timey. A timey? Time induction matter in encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnia. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. It sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. We both did the ice pick? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so timies are affected with time. You can only hold three timies at once. So they're expended after one use. All right. So the control room. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Uh, open. There's a big branching path plan, point upcoming, so you know that will affect which it route you do first. Room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Ah. I'm assuming we do both routes eventually, or... So I'm mainly just doing what I did in the demo, so whether or not that translates into the most optimal choice uh, is yet to be seen. But there's something suspicious here. Okay, the balloons in the picture. Bird cages. Looks like there's something inside. Go back and do the same. Oh, okay. So the one in the demo that I did, I went Agent to Dante, the one with the picture. So I think we're just gonna do this one. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Which cage you pick here dictates your roots. Oh. So this is going to be a very important choice going forward. Well, considering we explore all of them eventually... I guess we'll go... Oh, wait, shit. All I didn't right. mean to do that. How's this? I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to pick that option. It's heavy. 
A bird well, that's embarrassing. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. So I think we'll just do this one. Um, use this and lift the cage. All right, leave it to me. It is heavier than it looks. You know, I noticed that the, the voiceover there is a lot more delayed than what actually happens on screen. Like, she's still struggling when the cage is already lifted. It's just a weird inconsistency I noticed. All I did was move the cage. Retry will allow you to return to a save point just after unlocking a mental lock. We only have three retries. Going back one costs one, two costs two, and so on. You regain your three retries by selecting Restart from the menu or by failing the sink. This is your best option if time is low. There are torn pieces of paper. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. All right, uh, piece together. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Ah, okay. So apparently this girl has a history here. Also, why does the dad just look like you, Narukami, from Persona 4? So the photo was the key. I remember it clearly. One day, I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash can. When I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo, but whatever her reason, it seems like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo insomnium, the birdcage... Mizuki must be having a hard time. Do -do -do -do. Gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Eh, not Did exactly. You not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. Well, considering that the panda's head is spinning, I'm assuming that's important here. The panda head is spinning. Alright, we're gonna use... One eighth time and try to stop the head. Maybe it's like the speaker before. I see. These were also linked. That's right. And there she is. Mizuki. Let's go to her. Got it. If you choose the correct answer as your final action, you can exceed the 360 second time limit. Mizuki got that drip though. She kind of do though. She really do though. Let's try... Let's give her a hug. She probably needs it. Mizuki. Wait, footsteps? Oh my god, Taboo from Smash Brothers Brawl is the murderer?
Day 2, Mizuki A acquired. Oh, uh, there was probably an item in the Somnium that I missed. I'm not going for all items, by the way, if anybody was wondering. Like she can talk again. Oh, that's so nice. That's so wholesome. Well, the circumstances aren't, but the happiness is. After she had calmed down, I asked her a few questions. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, about Ota, and about Shoko. I know that after Oto ran off, something must have happened to make Mizuki want to hide. Well, first of all, how are you doing? I told you I'm fine. Okay. So annoying. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. Yeah. What pressure. Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. Yeah. That's funny. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. Wow. So you preferred her when she was traumatized. Who sent you the Nile message? I... I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Well, that's terrifying. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. <laughs> I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. About that figure I saw. Say, Mizuki, who is that figure I saw? What? Insomnia, in your dream, I saw a silhouette. Wait, I thought... Mizuki would not understand the question. Yeah, I thought she couldn't see she anything because it was a dream. I thought she would... I thought she would, uh, forget she immediately. A dream inside her brain. Oh, never mind. Are you hungry? I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Bruh. Stu, you said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. <laughs> Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Well, I think that's everything. That when I saw insomnium. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. He sounds like a stereotypical mad anyway, scientist. We know about the figure you saw. 
I wonder who that could be. Thoughts on the suspect? How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Let's see, pewter. Not that figure I saw. Oh, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki saw me and couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams. The bloom head crew. Well, I mean, those guys are silent and earlier, didn't you, Dante? they don't really, uh. That event you experienced is They're very weird. Not as it happened in reality. They could have done it. Dreams are a collage of many memories intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Who do you think the suspect is? Peter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see. Perhaps it was you, Special Agent Dotty. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. You got the whole squad laughing. How does Iba appear in Somnia? Iba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Iba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Iba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why somnium Iba is so dumb. Wow. Don't call me dumb. About Iba's appearance, oh god. The hey, body paint would probably leave a pretty easy trail, but that's true. Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. Your taste? Part of that was my taste. I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Computer, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Yikes. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? About Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. All right, and I believe the boss had like one or two things to say about Mizuki's muteness. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Do you have any questions, boss? Right, there was something. 
Hey, Mizuki. When we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. Knew it. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hit in the column? Yeah. Well, that's one mystery solved. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. So they staged it to look like that. Shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Hey, can I pop this cherry? Date, you sounded quite proud of that pun. Perhaps you'd like to repeat it? <laughs> no thanks. It's not the same as the first time. That was terrible. She's got that gloomy look in her eyes. I sympathize with her. Last night, she saw her mother... Well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It will take a while for her to get back to normal. Uh, she doesn't understand the concept of the figure that we saw. What if we ask again? Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone in the corner past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Anyway, I get the story. Who done it? Your mom. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. I would like a refund on my fair tokens. <laughs> no, but um... <sighs> you do not take that question seriously enough. I'm not quite sure. Obviously, that silhouetted person is most likely the murderer, but I also had a feeling it was a set that contributed to this because she was awfully suspicious, providing blackmail on Date. So it's either a set or that mystery figure. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I think this is where we're going to call it an episode. Because, well, we're, I think we're at that point in the plot to justify calling it an episode. So, so far, this game has me hooked. Th this game has me hooked right away. I, I really do like it. The characters are fun. The jokes, like the humor is great. Absolutely great. There's a lot of like silly lines that are really strange out of context and there's some like perverted jokes like the receptionist which i found to be pretty funny but i consider this to be really fun so far 
uh, and the mystery really uh, has me thinking uh, about the plot. Whoever recommended it to you must have exceptional taste. Yes, it was Ira that recommended it to me. Uh, exceptional taste? Mm, not sure I agree because you're a fan of Endless Ocean. Yeah, I'm just not... I'm not into that. There's a reason it didn't sell as much as it did. You should listen to them more? How about no? Because he'll just make me play Fire Emblem and I'm not all about that. Anyway. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow my Twitch channel in the description below so you can join us for episode 2 and future live streams. I'm live Wednesdays and Fridays at 9.30pm Eastern Standard Time. Oh boy, I can't wait to see where this goes next episode. Will we solve the case? Or are we going to go deeper into the rabbit hole? Who even knows? I don't know if this case takes up the entire plot or if there's multiple cases. That's part of the adventure. So... Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss gaming content and stream VODs from yours truly, and I will see you guys in the next one.